What's up, everybody? Welcome to Southern Life. My name is Jose. And Katie. Today we're going to drive through Charleston. So, Charleston? <laughs> There's two Charlestons. We are in the one in West Virginia. West Virginia. Okay. Great start, Katie. So, this, yeah, this video, this phone records much better. Mm -hmm. Much crisper. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's been hard to upload here in the Virginias, man. Mm -hmm. No signal. At least in the parts we're in. So we're gonna show you the real streets at night. Mm -hmm. We're doing a night drive to show you guys the real streets of Charleston, West Virginia. I hope you guys are having a beautiful day wherever you are. Let me know out of curiosity. Well, an electric car, that's kind of fancy. Hmm. If you have been here, I would love to, to hear from you. Part of the 50 States Club? Eventually. Eventually. At least the 48. Yeah. I'm not too sure about 50. And I'm not too sure I want to visit Oregon. It looks like 36. Okay, so there's a lot of lights and businesses here. Somebody, pay. I love when somebody parallels you on the blind spot. Mm -hmm. Like, how slow do you have to be, buddy? To parallel somebody in the slow spot. Blind spot, whatever. You get what I'm saying. Why did my voice just change? Like, I'm like talking in oh. an evil voice. Thing. You're evil. almost to it. Okay, there's a Jamaican restaurant around here. Not quite somewhere. yet. Is there a hood here? Because this is there's a Jamaican restaurant. Yeah. That's yeah. kind of odd. Jamaican restaurant. There's a pepperoni grill up ahead. That's a funny name, pepperoni. Pepperoni. Oh, my name is pepperoni. It's not like pepperoni, like the one you eat. No, that is my last name. It's pepperoni. Pepe and Roni. Pepperoni. feels very urban and city like doesn't it yeah much more than i would expect i expected like a country feel mm -hmm. this feels very urban and city it's odd yes is there a way we could refund the money for the hotel and go to the other hotel and then they stay over it? but there's a lot i want to see in, in this the next area. state you know, over yeah uh -huh. well that little town galliopolis is um mm -hmm. i want to see that town ohio mm -hmm. That town is going to get the biggest rent for me ever. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that town's going to get it for me. You'll see why when I upload the video. There's a reason me and that town have a problem to settle. Yeah, you can turn here. Personal problem. Let's start off in Naples, right here? Yeah. But we're trying, once we get on the other side, we don't want to get on the, on the highway. Uh, I can't believe how urban it feels. Am I right up wrong about that? Mm hmm. Like this feels more lit up and urban than let's say. Yeah. Is that the hood? Possibly. Look at these apart. Are these apartments? This. These apartments. This, this looks hood. Don't this we? is. These are apartments. Are these apartments or just businesses? That's a business, but these are apartments. apartments. Oh, that's the hood right there. Those four buildings are the hood. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Doesn't it feel like ultra urban, like like Tampa almost? Yeah. Like it feels like ultra urban. Mm -hmm. I didn't expect that. I expected, like, it's well lit, for one, right? Yeah. We're going to Washington Street, which is this exit here. More than preserving this, thing, I had a beautiful collection of the, the city's history. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a little town, we're in West Virginia right now, and it's on the West Virginia Ohio border. This looks kind of shady. Mm -hmm. It's right on the West Virginia Ohio border. border. I mean, right on it, like the, the river the town's right on the river, and the other side of the river is West Virginia. Mm -hmm. We're about an hour away, we're gonna go check it out. This little town, I run into their really special history like photos, incredible documents, like a lot of this, this little town's history. And I wanted to donate it to their historical society, however. Their historical society was not so much interested in how they could receive these items so they could preserve their their history no they were interested in who gave it to me and why did they let the stuff be given away bro this looks so ghetto mm -hmm. don't that look ghetto mm -hmm. that looks like some straight out of new jersey projects looking type of thing don't it yeah what? It's weird how, like, even in West Virginia, you're running into stuff that looks real hood. 
hoods are everywhere. That's a, the, the other thing I had to learn. I thought, like, oh, there's no hoods in certain places. No, there's there's hoods everywhere. Mm -hmm. The hood is a universal thing. Mm -hmm. If you have a hundred people, ten of them are gonna be hood. Mm -hmm. and three of them are gonna be really hood. And then one of them is gonna be like a, a real OG. Mm -hmm. This looks super hood out here, bro. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure where the hood of this town is, but if I had to take a guess, this is the hood. I feel like I'm in New Jersey or something. Mm -hmm. Hold on, hold on. Those are lights up there? Mm -hmm. What the crap? That mountain is that steep? Mm -hmm. You can't tell because it's nighttime. Mm -hmm. But there's we're mountains. We're surrounded by mountains. We're not just surrounded. We're like... In we're, a mountain. We're, like, like we're, we're in underneath a, a valley of a mountain that's very steep. Yep. And you can't really tell because um, it's nighttime. It's nighttime, but in the daytime you'd be like, "Wow, look, we're, we're in, we're surrounded by mountains." Yeah. Yeah, this sounds pretty. This hard. is There's gonna a, be a nice a broken video window there, day. and it's got the, and it looks like the type of like bullet hole broken type of thing. Mm. So this is probably the hood right here. Mm -hmm. I'm sure we found the hood. And, uh, doesn't that look hood to you? Mm -hmm. Looks hood to me. Look, I'll back up so they can see. It. We're in the hood. Where the hood, where the hood, where the hood at? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, this is definitely the hood. Yeah. Tell me, this doesn't look like the hood to you. This looks like the hood to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is hood right here. Mm -hmm. This looks like some out of New Jersey looking type of hood. But, mm -hmm. overlooking the state capitol? Mm -hmm. Building? Yeah. That's interesting. the real streets and then believe it or not right over on top of us is kind of like a oddly enough it's like there's a mountain right there mm -hmm. like, like I, I saw lights up in the sky i'm like why are there lights up in the sky i'm like dude there's a there's a city up there mm -hmm. there's like a bunch of buildings up there i'm not an expert on mm -hmm. virginia hoods but i i think this might be like a hood right here yeah West Virginia. Temperature is 58 degrees. It feels great out here. There's quite literally what looks like a bullet hole. Or at least somebody threw a rock. Your historical society sucks. And how they failed. How they failed to... Yeah, because then I got to find out a bunch of stuff about this town. Most of it pretty bad stuff. Yeah. Through trying to get recover their historic items. So finally, I got upset. And I said, you know what? I'm just going to put this stuff on eBay. Mm -hmm. And I put it on eBay. And guess who bought it? The Historical Society mm -hmm. watched the bidding but never bid. Mm -hmm. And the price was incredible. I mean, it was like $300 for like this wild collection of beautiful... History. I mean, I, if it was my town, yeah. I'd have paid a thousand dollars for it. You know? Yeah. Like literally, if I'm on eBay and I see this type of stuff about Naples, the town that I'm from, mm -hmm. I'm paying for it. Can I see the map Yeah. So after all that, a guy from Michigan bought it, mm -hmm. and the reason he bought it was because he wanted to spite the people of of uh, Ohio, Michigan have a rivalry. And this guy that bid on it, you know, because on eBay you're allowed to talk to the person you're 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 you're, uh, you're dealing with, apparently. Mm -hmm. And this guy from uh, from Michigan bought the Ohio stuff, almost like a war trophy over, you know, because he says he's got friends from Ohio, mm -hmm. and they always kind of, you know, argue about, you know, it's kind of like a real rivalry between these two states, Katie, right? Mm -hmm. You're from Michigan. How's that work? I don't care. I don't care what state you're from. Oh, come I'm on. different. Shut up. When it comes to football, last all time I shared for Ohio, you socked me upside the head. So don't give me that crap. Okay. <laughs> don't give me that crap, Katie. Remember when I shared for Ohio and you socked me upside the head? Yeah, because you were rooting for football. Right. So elaborate a little bit on that. Oh, it's a football rivalry. It's a little bit Michigan deeper than football. Better. 
I don't know. The Buckeyes are a good team. Great team. And they have nice, hot blonde girls. You know the little cheerleaders? They do have the color red. Yeah. Yeah. Ow! Oh, so there's like a skyline on the other side? Yeah. Why is there a skyline on the other side? I don't know. I'm lost. Look at a boat in New Jersey. Laboken, New Jersey. Look at Laboken, New Jersey. I've never heard of Laboken, New Jersey. Where's Laboken, New Jersey? Aboken. Aboken. Have you ever been to Aboken, New Jersey? All right, so we got to get back on the main street. Let's go this way. But anyways, uh, yeah, there's a rivalry between Ohio and Michigan. It's not a pretty rivalry. So this guy from Michigan, he bought these things off of me on eBay. I think he paid about 300 what was it, like 300 something dollars? Yeah. You know, he bought these things as a way to spite his friends from Ohio. It's like, hey, I have your state's history because your state sucks so bad that they don't even have their own history, you know? So, you know, whatever, and floats your boat. This is pretty dead at night, which makes me think it's probably super dangerous. Yeah. When nobody's out in the boat at night. Because mm -hmm. it's, it's a cool night. It's not, it's 57 degrees. Like, it's walking weather, it's jogging weather, it's it's perfect. Yeah. Wouldn't you be out at night on a on the like this? Yes. The fact that there's nobody out here makes me think people are probably scared of walking at night. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Let's go this way real quick. Maybe that's just the way the buildings look in this town. Maybe the whole city looks like a hood. Yeah. It's not run down or dirty. It's just, no. it has that, like, hood look to it. You know, like, I feel like I'm in New York, New Jersey right now. Mm -hmm. These colonial brick buildings with the white trim and the metal bars on the windows and all up against each other. And, mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe it was a hood in the past and now it's, like, gentrified. Like, maybe this was a hood in the 1800s. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, like, like, um, why are you waving at me? I don't know you. There was that one person, hey, we went to high school together, right? I'm like, no, nah, I'm not from here. Man, hey, you went to high school. Remember from high school? I said, yeah. Yeah, you went to that, uh, what was that? Uh, I can't say what I would actually say. But I can guarantee you it's not pretty. <laughs> well, I like to pretend I know them and then like back out of it like real quick. Like, oh yeah, man, we went to uh to Gay More together. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. No, maybe you just went there, because I'm not from here. We went to more. We went to Moorhead. Oh yeah, I went to Moorhead. Yeah, that's a school for stupid people, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You was in that special class. Something like that. I just messed with them, but yeah, there was that one person like, yo, yo, man, we went to high school together. Really? I don't know you. We went to Garland. Oh yeah, we went to Garland together. Yeah. Yeah, you was that stupid kid. <laughs> What's going on here? Uh, someone's on the ground. Okay. Shooting victim? Hi. Probably hi. This titty's a dump, bro. Oh, it looks like they're repairing something. Oh, they're fixing their car? Yeah. Okay, that's odd. Oh, they're just fixing the car. Yeah, it's just stuff. Okay. We'll go slow. I thought maybe somebody high and full. Oh, they're fixing their car now. Okay. Yeah. We'll go slow. So they don't get hit. Slow. Okay, so why won't why don't they park the car the other way so that they're fixing the car up on the sidewalk? I would have parked the car right on the sidewalk, mm -hmm. not on the road. I mean, there's not a lot of traffic out here, but still, you don't know who's driving if they're sober. Mm -hmm. Just saying, mm -hmm. very strange town. It feels very historic and bold, doesn't it? Yeah. Like the buildings are big, these big churches, and mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. 
Eventually, like, we're just gonna run to somebody like shot on the street one day. <laughs> we're gonna be in the hood at night when there's gonna be somebody like laying on the ground, like, oh man, I got shot. And we're gonna be like on live, like, I don't know you. Come on, man, we went to high school together. <laughs> you don't let your classmate get hurt? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna, can I make a right turn here? Because I'm not gonna wait for the stupid night. I don't have all day. I'm just gonna make a right turn. Ah, right turn just saw. Let's go this way. I can say this out of all places we've been to. Mm -hmm. Nothing like this, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. This is a very unique. Okay, there's five people hanging out in the parking lot, but they got kids with them, so there's nothing bad. Mm -hmm. I will say, out of all the cities we've been to, this is this is a unique. Mm -hmm. yeah, I could have kept going to another state, man. What? I could have kept going to another state. You end up sleeping like a whole lot, like. You notice how we're not even, we usually sleep eight hours and like on cold days we were sleeping in Alabama like twelve hour days. Yeah. You know, like, well, that's even there's too much like strange street activity at night, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's pretty normal. It doesn't seem wild or hectic. It's not like Newport Richie at night where you like. And I thought this state had a lot of problems. Mm -hmm. it must be very well hidden. That truck squatter. Well, Alabama has problems and very well hidden. Very well yeah. hidden. Yeah. Well, because of the law enforcement. Like yeah. it seems like the law enforcement in these states is so heavy-handed that people who do stuff like that, they're not going to be out on the streets yeah. where a cop can pick them up. You know. They're going to be out in the woods. Yeah. Or, yeah, out in the woods or you know hiding. They're not going to be out in the open because the cops will pick them up and run their life. You know. Yeah. So we're kind of in downtown right now. And there's just a little area here where there's a little bit more life. Let's see if it's still going on. I love how they have a tire shop right downtown. That's awesome. Firestone. That seems like a relic of the past, doesn't it? I love it. Love it, love it, love it. You can't turn oh, you can't left. turn that piece. Oh, really? That sucks. Is there anybody out and about? Very few people. It's completely dead. Mm -hmm. Completely, completely, completely dead. Now, I've, I've been doing what I've been doing for a while now. So I want to do what I'm doing, and you do what you're doing. Because I'm doing what, steps. I'm doing what I'm doing, okay? There's not a lot of life out here. No. This car behind me can't be happy. I think it's more I don't like give a crap. people do suburbs more than cities. No, they have like like a lot of major. I'm just surprised at how well lit and maintained the state is. Mm -hmm. As far as like buildings and stuff. Yeah. It's it's a really interesting thing because you know first maybe. Watch. First watch. First watch. Yeah, yeah. First watch. Flash I don't know. It's kind of long. Burritos and brews. Burritos and brews. That's what mm -hmm. rich millennial kids do. That's what millennials do, burritos and brews. Like something's just about to happen, mm -hmm. but you're waiting for it to happen, but it hasn't happened. Look at that mega city. Ah, that's how I saw my second meal, bro. Let's go this way. Yeah, we are. Are you turning or going straight? I'm going to turn left. Cratch that one way that had a lot of buildings and stuff. So you want to call, how new is the hotel in Ohio? It has a 19 reviews. Call them and see how new they are. Because okay. I, I can get my money back on this hotel over here. Okay. I don't like it at all. You can drive another hour, right? And there's nothing in that hotel. Like, we didn't leave anything in there. We don't even have to no. go back. We don't even have to go back to that hotel. You realize that, right? Yeah. We could just call the girl and say, hey, we're not going to use the hotel. We found something better. Mm -hmm. She's not going to be happy about it. But since you didn't go, like you didn't use the room, yeah, she might be able to. Um, she might be able to four refund. Four months. It. Five months. Huh? Five months. Is the oldest review. She can still rent it out because we didn't use the room. 
Yeah. Um, I don't know what's on the side. It's just driving. see how new it is. Um, can you go this way? Yeah. Here, this can be here. Then I'm driving. Just ask them how new the hotel is and if they have your room sign. Wow, look at the view from here. Hi, um, how old is this hotel? June? Okay. Do you have any rooms tonight? And do you have any rooms tonight? Okay. What's the price? What's the price? Okay. What room did you put us in? I don't even know. Okay, I'll show you. Dude, these are like palaces up here. Well, imagine they're up on top of a mountain. Go figure, right? Uh-huh. I mean, a house on top of a mountain, it's going to be fancy. That end down way? Is there a driveway this way? We're like up a hill or something. I don't though. even know what you're doing. Well, I'm up a hill. That's all I know. Yeah. And we're in a really, really fancy neighborhood. This is like the Beverly Hills of West Virginia. Okay. Here you go. You good now? Yeah, I just don't know where we're going, but other than that. Here. This is super fancy. Have you seen these houses? Mm hmm Oh. That's fine. I mean, hey, I'll, I'll call the hotel and I'll get it refunded regardless. So, I mean, I'm just letting you know. I'll, that's fine for me. I can call and I get my money refund. I'm just letting you know. You don't have to be. Let's happened? go to the next room. Let's go to the next room. Just forget it. Okay. Very unprofessional. It's just like. Wow, look at the view from up here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think we keep it going to the next room. Yeah. I didn't like the hotel at all. It seemed like really, really nasty. I mean, like, it just didn't seem. This hotel, it's new, right? Yeah. She said it, they opened up in June. Yeah. She didn't have to like it. It's just like, dude, it's not cool at all. Man. It doesn't you matter. Don't it's, have business. To like it. it's business. I'm a it's customer. Business. Like, I didn't like it, and that's it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you didn't have to like it. It's just, I didn't, I just, I found something better. That's it. What, what hotel is that? Uh, it is a uh, town Comf place. Comfort Inn? What? Comfort Inn. Oh, Comfort Inn here? Yeah. yeah. Last time we stayed at a Comfort Inn, we got bed bugs in Montgomery. Yeah. Yeah, we did. Well, we stayed in the one in Denellen, but it's nice. Huh? The Comfort Inn in Denellen is nice, but... But the Montgomery one, yeah, there are bed bugs everywhere. Look here. Okay, which side of this do I have to be on? This side? You were supposed to be at uh, this. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh, I can get my money refunded regardless. I didn't stay in the room. I didn't do anything. Mm -hmm. I just don't like. Don't like it. Period. Mm -hmm. I, I just. I didn't even feel comfortable in there. Like, I, you felt maybe, uncomfortable. I just didn't like it. It felt like. I just didn't like it, you know what I mean? Like I walked in there like I didn't feel comfortable, I didn't it felt like nasty and like I don't know. It wasn't dirty at all though. Huh? It just was uncomfortable. So do we wanna go or not? I can get the money refunded, like I didn't stay in the room. Yeah. Oh, this is a one way. She she really like doesn't have to like you can just you can call and what is it comfort whatever. Yeah. You can just call and get your money refunded. They're gonna do it. Mm -hmm. Hotels refund money all the time. Let's keep it moving to Ohio. We didn't really like we didn't use the room. They can't charge us mm -hmm. for it. Yeah. And plus, you want to troll that one town in Ohio. No, but this this hotel is nowhere near that. Mm -hmm. yeah, I just want to get out of West Virginia and go to North State. It, it's it's not... I don't know. I didn't like the room. I just like, Let me send photos of the one the other one. 
I don't give a crap. I, I changed my mind. That's it. Like, I don't have to explain to her why I changed my mind. I didn't like it. Mm -hmm. That's Hold it. On. There you go. Place. Mary, Mary hotels are so much better. Mm -hmm. She got all like personal. It's not personal. It's not personal. You don't own the hotel. No. <laughs> you don't own the hotel. You can't get per like she. She got personal about it. <laughs> like if she owned the hotel, you don't own the hotel. You just work here. Yeah. Mm hmm. You know what you said? That's not cool, dude. I don't give a crap. It doesn't that's matter. It's business. That's, she said, yeah, just, she's, what is she's like, that's not cool, dude. I even showed you the room. I'm like, so? I don't care that you showed me the room. Like, you don't own the hotel. You don't, I'm the customer. Like, it, that's business. It's, I, I'm yeah. the customer. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. It's not about being cool. It's not about you liking me. It's, I'm the customer and I changed my mind. I want a refund. That's it. It's hotels not, give you refunds all the time. I worked at a hotel. All you do is make sure the room is wasn't used. Yeah. Like you weren't even in the room. You went somewhere else. Yeah. So that in itself, you just look at the room and then you rent it again. Yeah. It's not that big a deal. So what I'll do is once we get off camera, I'll call her back. Yeah. And I'll tell her, hey, we're not gonna stay. Have your general manager call me in the morning. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Yeah. You don't I mean, own the, she doesn't own the yeah. hotel. She doesn't own the hotel. She's not the owner. Yeah. All she can do is have the general manager call me back. So when the general manager calls me back, she's part of the reason I felt comfortable. Not now. Yeah. Ooh, that street looking going. That one looks pretty cool. So we gotta go. Yeah, I made a. Yeah. I don't like just yeah. what I saw at that. What I saw at that Chinese place. Yeah. I don't want to see West Virginia. What I saw there at that Chinese place, mm -hmm. where they went in and just asked Chinese people for their papers and stuff, yeah, I didn't like that one bit. Mm -hmm. Like that already, I don't want to be in this state. Like it's like it I don't want to go. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I didn't like it at all. Yeah. So let's keep it moving. Mm -hmm. I'll call her back, and then what I'll tell her is, I'm not gonna stay in the room. Have your general manager call me back tomorrow, and that's it. Yeah. It's not that big a deal. You just... It's not. They're it's going to have to refund it because I didn't stay in the room. Yeah. If she's able to, to re-rent that room, because yeah. I didn't go in there, I didn't mess up anything, they have to refund it. Are we getting, are we getting refunded? The other hotels got to refund us? Which one? Oh, they never charged us. Which one? Uh, the one in Johnson City? Yeah. Yeah, they didn't Same charge deal. us. It's not that big a deal. I, I, I have a standard for hotels where I stand. Mm -hmm. I'm picky. Yeah. If I stay in your hotel and your hotel for some reason disappoints me, I walk right out. It's In business. every single hotel yeah. that, that happens with, yeah. refund your money. It's not that big a deal. So... It, I worked in a hotel. It's not that, that big, big of a deal. deal. Especially when the room's still usable. Yeah, if the room is usable, yeah, then fine, you, whatever. Yeah. If, if it's a concern, you just mark it off. It's not a big deal. This is really neat. And I'm sure it's beautiful in the daytime, but we're going to keep it moving. Yeah. 107. Yeah. I'm not going to use the room. Just have your general manager call me in the morning, okay? Just an employee. You know, you don't own the place. Like, that's their problem, not yours, you know? That's not going to come out of your bank account, you know? Your paycheck is what you got to worry about, you know? But don't worry about it. I mean, you don't own the place. I mean, so don't stress it. I'm a picky customer. I know I'm a jerk of a customer, but you don't own the place, so it's not your money, you know what I mean? But, yeah, just make a note. Make sure you put my phone number, and they'll call me in the morning, and I look forward to it. Thank you so much, okay? Thank you. Oh, she apologized. She did not like it. Yeah, if you're okay with having your ID checked every day of your life. I don't have, I, yeah. I'm, I'm always sober, so I ain't worried about it. Yep. 
But what doc, what those cops did there? Mm-hmm. Where they're in there asking the Chinese people for their IDs? Uh-huh. That's not cool. Mm-hmm. What happened? I mean, they were just in there asking. There was two. They, were, they walked in. They started, did you see any incident at all while we were in there? Not that Nothing at all. We sat down, right? It was quiet. Mm-hmm. We ate. Then we walk out, and then the cops are asking people for their IDs. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. None of that made sense to me. Yeah. None of it. Well, you smell that? That's strong. Yeah. That's like skunk strong. Woof. Yeah. So a lesson there for everybody watching. Yeah. If you work for a company, you don't own the company. She was nice and all, whatever, but like at the end of the day, you don't own the you don't own the store. It's not your problem. Don't ever make a company problem a personal problem because you're just there for a paycheck. She took it personal, like if she owned the hotel. You don't own the hotel. Uh-huh. If, if the if the hotel, she acted like it was coming out of her pocket. Yeah, I know I'm a jerk of a customer. I know what I'm yeah. doing sucks, but. The customer had that's the beauty about America. And the customer's always right. Yeah, there was a day at McDonald's where I had to do something and they're like, oh well the person didn't come in to relieve you. I'm like, well that's not my problem, I'm leaving. Yeah. Like the other person doesn't show up. That's not your if you're clock out of five, you clock out of five. That's yeah. not your problem. And then the guy at five didn't show up and that's that you don't own the company. Yeah. You know? I only stayed once um, and covered another shift, but it was because I know my manager was the only one able to work, and she had already worked over 24 hours straight, and I was like, this lady needs a break. But see, her, she's the one fault, not you, because mm-hmm. she was the one who decided to do that. Yeah. You don't have to do that. Hey, if you don't have enough people to, to, to keep the store stock, close the front door. Yeah. And that's it. You don't own the building. Like you, that's the thing about working for other people is you can't like. I don't care if the next guy didn't show up. I don't own this company. No, that's not, that's not my problem. problem. There's nobody at the register. Close the store down. That's not my problem. I don't own this freaking place. I'm just an employee here. I'm gonna pay nine dollars an hour. So now I'm gonna lose my job because I got mad at a customer because I'm protecting the company interest. First of all, in the company, they're gonna wipe their hands of you. Yeah. Because I'm the customer. I'm the one paying. 